there abiding fam and welcome back to my channel i'm kelsey lee and today we're going to be setting up our november spreads in our bullet journal this month is also nanorimo also known as national novel writing month so i have a few spreads for that as well but first let's make a cup of tea and while i make this cup of tea before we jump into all the good stuff i have in store for you this video i just like to encourage you to stay tuned throughout the entire video because I do have some printables I'm going to talk about and a freebie as well over on my Patreon, so if you want to hear about the free thing you can get over there, be sure to stay through the entire video. And as always guys, if you're not already part of our abiding fam, I would love for you to join. We are building a community of women who believe in creating meaningful lives full of abiding creativity, joy, and love. We believe in encouraging and lifting each other up, and so if that's something you could use a little bit more of in your life, be sure to join us. Alright, so as I mentioned, November is also National Novel Writing Month for writers, and I happen to be an author. I am currently working on my third novel in the Circle and Cross trilogy, and I'm hoping for NaNoWriMo say hello to Jeannie, that's my dog. I'm hoping for NaNoWriMo to be a time where I can really just get this book done. And last month I also did some writing related spreads, so if you're interested in even more inspiration on that theme, be sure to check out my October setup. And I also just did a really fun video on how to bullet journal when you're not artistic, so that's another great one to check out as well. Alright, so for my cover page, I decided to do a watercolor. I'm using these Arteza Real brush pens, which I love, and I actually have a review video of them in a journal with me, which I'll link for you as well. So these pens are great because you use them like markers, but then when you add water, it creates this really beautiful watercolor effect. So now I'm going in with the watercolor just to blend out all of those little colors that I essentially just scribbled onto the page, which is the other thing I love about using these markers, is I can act like a child and just essentially scribble on the paper, and once I add the water, it creates this beautiful blended effect no matter what I do. So I just highly recommend these pens. And then for the finer details of the tree, I decided that I would use the Arteza watercolor pencils, so I just went in with those, filling in the different colors. As you can see, I'm filling out that trunk, and I did sketch out the girl sitting under the tree ahead of time with some pencil, but the tree itself I just freehanded. I find that's easier, especially when you're doing a tree with lots of foliage. I always recommend just plopping watercolor down on the page for the foliage and then building the branches after that. It just makes it a lot easier. And then you can basically just draw lines throughout that foliage so that it looks like the branches are just peeking out through all of the leaves versus the branches being what you build the leaves on, if that makes sense. It just gives it a much more authentic look. And as you can see, I then am going in and just adding different shadowing and layers to the girl, trying to build up the different colors of her outfit and the book that she's reading. And I decided for this to go in with a finer watercolor brush, and this is actually a Malika brush, and I can link them for you guys. These are my favorite watercolor brushes. They are really, really great when I'm doing an actual piece of art. When I'm traveling and just trying to do something quick, I usually go for my Arteza water brushes because those are just super easy, you just fill them with water, but when I want finer details and a real piece of art that I'm working on, I go for the Malika. So there is the finished art print, and then when I scanned it, I did work with it a little bit in digital form to add rosy cheeks, and I also realized I forgot eyebrows, so I added those as well. So I think the digital version is even prettier, and it is available in my Patreon as an art print. So if you're interested in that, you can check that out. And the other thing I have over on my Patreon is some fun journaling cards and other just lots of journaling printables over there. And these are ones from this last month. So I figured I would use it because it actually goes along really well with the colors of my tree to do my little small calendar. And I wrote a little quote that says, this is your month. 
under that, I'm going to do my goals. So my goals are going to be very much so related to my book because, as I said, that is my main goal for November is to finish my book and to just write, write, write as much as I can for National Novel Writing Month. So there's that finished spread, guys. I hope you like it. And I did have the art print with November under it in some hand lettering. So if you want, you can go ahead and print that out and use it for your own November spreads. If you do, be sure to tag me over on Instagram so I can share it in a future video. So my next page, I decided to keep with this bookish theme. And I went ahead and just decided I would draw out a really big open faced book. So the way to do this is basically just drawing a really big rectangle, but the inner parts are going to go inward a little bit further. And then from that, you just draw in some black lines that are going to form the pages of your book. And I always like to have one side that has more pages layered than the other, so it looks like you're kind of halfway through. Next, I decided to go in with my Micron pen and just put in the days of the month. And so rather than draw out lines, I just decided to just put the days and then I would go ahead and mark off the weeks with just this fine line of a B combo pen. To make the page a little bit more decorative and kind of like you're sitting under the tree with this book and the leaves just fell on it, I decided to go in with these really fun leaf stickers. And these stickers are actually from Wish.com. They're super cute, and I actually included them in my Happy Mail for my patrons this month. So hopefully you guys are enjoying using those. And then at the bottom, I just wanted to fill up that space, so I figured I would go ahead and write the year using my favorite number stencil, which is available on Amazon. And I always have 99.9% .9 of the things I use linked in the description box and on my Amazon affiliate shops. So if you're ever interested in tools that I'm using, be sure to check those out first. So I can go ahead and fill in my calendar and these are the basic dates I know ahead of time. And then we are good to go with that and I can go back to it and fill more in as the month progresses. And so my next entry is going to be specific to NaNoWriMo. So this is actually a writing tracker, which I did create a printable for, and it's available in two different designs. So if you're interested in these, you just have to head over to my Patreon page, and these are available on the Abiding Art tier if you want these ones. And they are just perfect for keeping track of your writing goals. And then my other printables are these really cute journaling cards slash art prints. And the great thing about these is that they're also available for free as a digital download for a laptop background for your computer. So if you're looking for the perfect motivational and inspirational background for your laptop to keep you going throughout NaNoWriMo, be sure to check out my Patreon where you can download any of those backgrounds for free for your laptop. And then if you want them as an art print or journaling card, you can check out my other tiers, which is where you'll also find the writing trackers and all of my other printables. So to tie it all together then, I decided to add more of those little leaf stickers and then I love the look of a little piece of craft paper under a photo. It adds a really great rustic vibe. And so this page is just going to be a more visual representation of my writing progress. So I'm just going to fill in a block for every day that I write, which hopefully it will be every single day of the month of November. It kind of has to be, so we'll see. And then I just did a few little leaf doodles on that craft paper. I love the look of white gel pen on craft paper. I always think that looks nice. And here are some close-ups of those finished spreads. For my next spread, I decided to do a version of one line a day in which I'm doing reflection a day. And so the idea of this entry is to be a place where I can write 
a little line every day on how I'm doing with my writing and just be able to voice my frustrations, my successes, etc. And while I'm using this for tracking my reflections on writing, you can use this for any goal that you're setting in a month. So that could be exercise, anything like that, that you want to keep track of. And then on the right, I am using another printable also available on the Abiding Arts tier, and this is for rewards. So I'm hoping to kind of establish little rewards for myself, you know, things that I want to just give myself as a congratulations when I hit certain milestones. And I didn't like my hand lettering for final thoughts where I'm hoping to just write the overall feelings of the month. So I decided to just cover it over with a piece of craft paper, put down a sticker, and that's just an easy way to fix mistakes is if you don't like something, tear off a piece of paper or washi tape or a sticker and cover it up and start again. It is perfectly okay to do so. And so here are the finished spreads. I love the way they turned out, partly because of how minimalistic they are. Sometimes it's the best feeling when a page doesn't have a ton going on, and the only thing I really have to worry about is getting my thoughts down on the page. After all, that is the whole point of a journal. So whether you're participating in NaNoWriMo or not, I hope that this video inspired you and that it encouraged you to get in your bullet journal and plan out your next month so that you can reach the goals you want in your life. Let me know down in the comments what your big goal for the month is. Are you participating in NaNoWriMo? If you are, do let me know what you're working on, what you're nervous about, what you're excited about for it. And if you're not a writer or not participating in NaNoWriMo, I would just love to know what your main goal for the month is. So let me know in the comments and hopefully we can build each other up and get each other excited to tackle these goals we've set for ourselves. And so I hope you leave this video feeling inspired and encouraged to live your abiding life. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my amazing patrons for making this possible to create videos for you here. And I'll see you all in the next one.